The following video is a recap of the Philadelphia Safari Zone makeup date video. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I'm going to be covering the makeup date for Philadelphia Safari Zone. But I will not be attending in person due to personal reasons and the fact that... I still don't feel comfortable with going out to large gatherings outdoors at this point in time, but I'm still going to bring you my experience of Safari Zone, which of course, fortunately, you can play anywhere in the world, regardless of whether you are in Philadelphia or not. And the same goes for all the other cities that had their Safari Zone events postponed last spring. Well, the time is here, and I hope to catch as many shinies at Safari Zone as I can get. First off, things were delayed in making this video along with my live stream on Twitch. I had to wait until I got home to make this segment of the video. And of course, on to the, to the research tasks. Starting with step one. Like the last time I did this, I had to transfer 10 Pokemon with the reward of 1 Incense, evolve 3 Pokemon with the reward of 100 Great Balls, and catch 10 different species of Pokemon with the reward of 5 Rare Candies, and the total rewards for completing this step were 1 Super Incubator, 1 Fast TM, and 10 golden raspberries. For the last and final step, I had to take a snapshot of my buddy, which gave me the reward of one lucky egg. I had to give my buddy three treats with the reward of 100 great balls, and I had to play with my buddy three times, giving me one star piece as my reward for completing that task and the final batch of rewards for completing this particular step gave me another free premium ray pass, a free shiny volt form, and 2000 stardust 
and ask for the shiny hunt king and shiny luck. Well, my first shiny I did encounter on my way back from the store, and of course, the second one is for I ended up catching both four, and the rest I ended up catching during my live stream on Twitch. And speaking of my live stream on Twitch, I was able to meet a lot of people. I ended up battling with one of my viewers who did good for a level 22 trainer and he put up a fight and I also gave him and another viewer advice about leveling up and you know doing raids and such because if you're not high level and you want to do a legendary raid you have to at least be with experienced trainers when doing so and I did encourage them that they will eventually get to the higher level one day they just have to keep on grinding catching battling doing raids etc and of course for the rest of this clip I leave you with this amazing track I always use for my Pokemon Go play videos The Safari Zone was a success, but I only ended up getting seven shinies, but that's okay. In the end, I still had fun. And of course, I also did some raids, and I had a great live stream over on Twitch. And of course, my final shiny count was seven, as I stated. And of course, the next video will be about Shinx Community Day. Until then, this is Lewis saying thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings, practice social distancing, wash your hands, Carry hand sanitizer with you. 
Most importantly, get vaccinated and of course, stay safe, stay healthy. And together, we are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.